JD, uh, on behalf of Kate McCauley, President and CEO of Wounded Warriors Family Support, we are gathered this morning here to honor your service and to present you with this uh, 2022 uh, F-150. I'd be remiss if I didn't acknowledge the hard work that DRC has done over the years for us in prepping these vehicles and ensuring that they meet your needs to be able to maneuver in and out of the vehicle. So uh, on behalf of the organization, we want to say thank you for your service, thank you for what you did for our country, and we're glad that we were able to present you with this vehicle today. My name is retired Staff Sergeant Jack Daniel Williams. I served six years of active duty. My first appointment as a company DM, which is a designated marksman. And then uh, I ended up switching over into a recon element and I was a recon squad leader uh, slash sniper. I did two combat tours, one in 07, 08 in Iraq, and then 2010 and 11 in Afghanistan. I've always been a uh, huge outdoorsman. I've, I just feel like being out in nature and not on the couch playing video games and stuff like that, being out in nature is like uh, the best way to heal your soul and especially after some traumatic experiences from from con combat deployments. I, I stepped on a bomb and got injured, yeah, but uh, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for those guys that didn't get wounded that got me home safe and sound. And those guys I feel like struggle with the horrors of war, you know, tremendously and there's nobody really out there helping them. You know, I started an organization called Mohawk Outdoors and a lot of it has been taking a lot of these combat vets on outdoor hunting adventures, same thing that healed me in my life. To get these guys out in the outdoors and to be guiding these warriors that <laughs> never got wounded in combat and you got this triple amputee saying, let's go up this area and go do some hunting. It's very therapeutic for these guys and our mission is to change the world one bruise at a time and has helped as many of these guys as we can. Just having the, the freedom of being able to drive again after going 10 plus years without driving is the greatest freedom I could ever ask for. You know, it's just a lot of people don't realize how how bad it is not being able to, you know, always having to ask somebody to go somewhere and just having that freedom to be able to load up in my vehicle anytime I want and, and go do the things that I need to do for myself, you know, it means, okay. means the world to me. Still orient yourself. <sighs> so sweet. The organizations that work with Wounded Warriors Family Support is definitely a life changer for a lot of these veterans. To, to have the freedom that we didn't have before, you guys, you know, you guys are doing God's work and keep up the, the great work because you don't know whose life you're going to be saving next.